This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. Aww, thanks EA. Also let you know this software is not final and subject to change. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Glow on. Today we're doing a speed build of this cottage. It's a bed and breakfast for maybe an upcoming LP starring Basil. Mm. So this should be fun. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. It really helps out. Anyway, let's get on with the speed build. All right, so I chose this plot of land because it's really big and that will give us a lot of room for some farming and put some ponds in there as well. And also the building is going to be kind of big because it is a bed and breakfast and it has to serve a couple families and also Basil has to live there as well. On the side there, we have like a silo and I was looking up cottages online and trying to like see like what they look like. <laughs> I know what they look like, but you know, to get some reference, you know, and they all had like this really cool thatch roofing, like really curvy with like stuff in the roofs and like windows and stuff. So I want to like, like have that on my build as well. Also, like the, the the roof there has like a little bit of um, it's like a thing of the uh, the ends. And so I kind of try to recreate that where like it folds over, you know, so I was trying to recreate that look, and I did this little trick. I realized later there's probably a way easier way of doing this, but I just I did it this way, and it looked pretty good in the end. But it's all thatched up. It looks it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then you put the, like the thatch like border around it. It looks nice. So I did the same thing on the other side with the same type of like you know end piece there, which looks pretty sweet. It's just like a little trick where I use extra rooms around it. I realized later that I could have just like taken the top and, and and dragged it all the way across, but whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, so these like top pieces, like these roof things that come with it, I thought they would look good on top, but they only kind of work with certain angled roofs and they did not look good on this roof. I tried to like lower the angle and still, I just thought they looked really weird. They also weren't snapping in very well. They're supposed to kind of snap in. And I just wasn't getting that with this roof, but I do use them later on another roof. But and I just like the way this roof looked; it was really steep, so I just kind of like left those alone. There's like a little roof at the bottom there; it kind of folds in, and then this roof is pretty sweet. The way I did it with the there's like a big front window, kind of curve it like that and fit it in. You see a lot of the thatch; like it, it like goes one way and it kind of like curves at the bottom, you know. And there's like a window in there. I really like the way that looks, so I try to like replicate that. As much as I could with the border it kind of it kind of fits together pretty good I think and then down here we have another roof that kind of does its own thing over there like the silhouette I think looks really good on this building when we get to the interior part it all kind of falls apart but I mean the outside I think looks, I think looks pretty good I like the way it looked on the outside it definitely looks small but it's there's a lot of space inside there's a little jut out pit there with a bit of roofing on them uh, these fat roofs are really nice. Okay, so this like top bit there, that's when we added all the bunnies and the little creatures there. I think they look cool. I had some problems because I didn't have the tool mod installed because this is like early access thing. So I was having trouble like fitting them into place. If I had tall, it would have been so much easier, <laughs> but whatever. Got some chimneys there, that's cool. This area is like similar to the front side where it just kind of like has that like weird like curvy roof bit kind of like the way that looks yeah so so far i'm like liking the way this build looks like on the outside i'm definitely much more of a like exterior like designer than i am interior this i'm not a fan of interior i know people love doing all the little like knickknacks and all that stuff like setting it up i just rather make the build look really nice on the outside than possibly leave the inside to somebody else <laughs> I, I did have trouble like coloring it though like at first i couldn't get like to make it look good. I kind of like a darker paint on that one, on that like front tower. And then I had like stone at the bottom and maybe wood along the top. It looked kind of weird, but then I, as I put these pillars on the sides, I think it framed it pretty well. It looked, looked kind of nice. The big tower there is like a silo. The idea was that like it was a silo barn. And then they like the barn was on one side, like that big tower is the barn and there's a silo. And they kind of built a house in between to kind of merge the two structures and made it a big house. That was the kind of the idea here behind the whole thing. 
And a lot of like houses in the countryside in the UK, like they even like converted barns or like converted silos as well. Like these old buildings that were farming because they're made out of like brick or stone, they're still around and they're using them as houses now. Some windows on the side are very nice. Nice like cottage windows there. And then I want to have like the, like the, you know, something like growing up the side of it. I only have access to cottage living and the base game. So some of the other like wall clinging plants I don't have access to. But there's some nice ones in this pack, so pretty good. And then the other thing that's kind of a problem is because it's so bumpy, the train is so bumpy that the plants kind of kind of float on top of the land. I couldn't shrink, you know, I couldn't push them down underground. If I had tool, the tool mod, then I would be able to use that. So I think once I get this, you know, officially, I'm going to like relook at this and update it and use tool to kind of like flesh out some of the details a little bit. Okay, so just kind of adding more windows to the side. And now the outside, I wanted to have like a little patio place where people can like barbecue and also obviously some farming because that's what you do in this pack. You farm and have chickens and have a cow. So the, the top part would be like a little farming area and then down below there would be sort of like a coop there and then maybe like a barn as well. Looks pretty good. Put the, yeah, put the barn there, and then I continued the fencing all the way around. Just made it a whole, like, little animal area all the way around both structures there. I don't know. I haven't actually messed around too much with the cows, so I don't know how, like, far it wanders around. I have played around a lot with chickens, and I know they do wander around quite a bit, but I'm not sure how far the cow actually wanders. I don't think you need to fence in the cow, but you definitely want to fence in those chickens, because they will go into the house and, like, roam around, which maybe you want that, you know? Just kind of messing with the 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 terrain there a little bit more and then just the, the colors of the house i wasn't loving so kind of really looking at that putting some windows on that silo there these windows these windows are really cool i kind of want to build like an old witch's hut definitely if you have this and you have the realm of magic pag you can definitely make some cool witch's huts with with the uh with these two types of build items all right, so this is my little farm area outside. Bunch of plots there. Just some little knickknacks around. A bit of water over there. Actually, eventually I connect the, the two water sources. So the whole thing is kind of like not an island, but a little peninsula, you know? Kind of like sitting in there. Look pretty good. I did that right at the end. So you'll see that later. Just kind of like land texturing right now. Make it look kind of natural. I did like the way this fence looked. I think it was too wacky, so I ended up fixing the fence around the farm area. I do like wacky things, but I feel like it was too wacky, you know? So I just kind of get rid of that. I made it more boxy. This is the patio. And because it's, it's a bed and breakfast, I figured like people maybe come out and eat, and barbecue. There's a, there's a bunch of tables out here. It's not a pub, but it's just like a place. Like, almost like you're at a golfing resort and there's like a place to like hang out outside in the nice English sun. And I put a little box sticking out just to make that a bit more interesting with that with that door there. I think the silhouette of this house looks really cool. I, I do really like the way that turned out. There's a little barbecue. That's a new wood type that comes with the pag. And then some lovely little picnic tables there. Yeah, like a fun place to hang out out here. And, and look at the, the crops growing. So I square this off here because, like I said, I thought it was a little too much. It was too wacky, you know, even for me. And also, like, there's less plots of land now as well. So I want to have that, like, nice little area. And there's some trees around there and some more foliage. Oh, I took that wall down because I didn't like that. Oh, I really like these, these like, these grass that, like, grow going into the the pond there they look really nice i have not spent too much time making a really cool swamp or pond i've done it very quickly i definitely want to spend more time on this especially when the pack comes out there's some ducks growing in this pond oh sweet you know i really make it look really nice i know i could spend way more time on it i've just kind of done real quick stuff 
But, you know, got some ducks on there, some grass growing. It looks pretty good. There's a little path that goes around from that area. And then from the farm as well. That looks good. And then down here, I thought maybe there could be like a little area down here to kind of hang out and feed the ducks, you know? You can't actually interact with the ducks, but you can imagine. You can sit down here, feed the ducks some bread. There we go. There's more grass around. I just love the way this looked on the outside. And then we go on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I gotta light, light it all up because it's so dark in there. And it's just, it's kind of a weird shape, you know? But the two areas up top, I want to connect through that roof. And then there's like the silo area, which, okay, I just kind of like forgot to record there for a second. So we kind of jumped where the living room was mostly done. I apologize for that, but I forgot to hit record when doing that. But the living room has some couches, it's got that sweet wallpaper. And then Basil was going to live downstairs, and then there'd be a big kitchen and a little bathroom down here as well. And then behind the living room back there would be like a place to eat. I kind of go back and forth between the shape down here because I, I couldn't quite get it right or the way I liked it. Okay, so this is going to be like the place where you, cook, you get food. And because, again, it is a bed and breakfast to serve many families at once, I figured there'd be multiple tables to eat. You don't always want to sit with some of a family, so there'd be a bunch of tables down here. It's a big area. It's kind of messing with the wallpaper right now, trying to get it right. It's just kind of, it's just, it was just awkward. I don't know. This space is awkward. But yeah, there's two tables there. I kind of flip one of them. Okay, this is Basil's room downstairs, and that's a new bed. And I kind of want to make it like, I don't know, kind of kind of boring and depressing. So I feel like I nailed it. <laughs> uh, there's a little closet there. Then he has, he has his own bathroom. Basil gets his own bathroom. If this is actually going to be like a hotel challenge, I've given him way more bathrooms than I normally did. I think there's... There's two bathrooms. There's two downstairs. So maybe that's fine. Basil has his own bathroom and the guests have their bathroom. I don't remember putting a bathroom upstairs. I guess I'll see in a second. But that's that downstairs bathroom. And then this is the kitchen. It's a huge space and it's just really weird because it kind of wraps around. But this is a big kitchen. I think I figured because like, you know, it is a better breakfast that you're serving multiple guests. It would be more than just a house kitchen. It would be more like you know, for multiple people, so you want to have like a big kitchen to, to make lots of food for the guests. More like an industrial kitchen for like multiple guests. So yeah, there's a bunch of kitchen stuff all around there. <laughs> and then this table, I don't know what that does, but that's cool. And then they got that thing where you can put plates on, which I thought looked kind of nice back there. Change the colors of these tables and chairs. And again, because Basil runs this place, I figured like he would be the one who had all the supplies in his bedroom, like multiple towels, maybe. So I'll see that a little bit in a second where he's got a bunch of towels in his rooms. If the guests need extra towels, they would like knock on his door and stuff like that. Like a lot of supplies. Like I figured like, again, Basil has a bunch of stuff in his room for the guests. There's all the towels there. There's more towels on the, the dresser there. And the kitchen... I'm just like finding stuff. I'm like, oh, that'd be cool. Put that there. There's a little bunny rabbit with a flower. Some little extra bits and pieces there. Nice plant. There's the living room with the coffee table in the middle. Little teapot there. It's a pretty nice grandma style living room, I think. <laughs> I do mess around with the shape of that living room. That whole front area gets messed around quite a bit before the final piece. Oh, these are kind of hops. I don't know what they are, but I'm going to say they're hops like you'd have them in a pub. A bunch of hops kind of growing around and along the ceilings. So I have those in there. It smells nice. Okay, so I guess we're on the upstairs now and just trying to figure out the whole layer of this mess. 
I figured we'd have like three bedrooms up here, maybe. And I had trouble because that like it's you're going through a roof to get to one side of the house to the other. You have to like go through that roof piece. Which makes it really awkward to build up there. I had to move the stairs back a little bit, which then moved this whole thing forward and changed the shape of the whole living room and then the dining room as well. Also, I'm going to raise up the platform a little bit there. Can I add a little bit more fun dimension? So, like, that's the whole dining room is raised up by one, which I thought looked kind of cool right there. And then I took that and even spread it into this area as well. So, this front area is raised up. Which I think look pretty sweet. But then I'm like, okay, that kind of like works with the shape of this silo. So I thought maybe the living room could still maintain that silo shape. And so then I bring that wall back down again. And that's the final shape of this room. So the room is the, the, the shape of the silo. And it's dipped down like a conversation pit. Which I think the living room looks pretty good now. And they get, there goes the stairs. So upstairs now, we're trying to figure out this area. It was really awkward where the stairs came up. Like, I wasn't sure what to do with the space. But I figured that could be like a little reading nook in the side there, you know? I couldn't color in between those two. I couldn't get in there because the roof was there. So I had some problem. I had to pull that roof off and then put that roof back again. Like this whole area was just a kind of a mess. <laughs> all right. So now I'm just trying to figure out what am I going to do with all the space? Like I got so much space up here. I like the idea that the living room maintained the silo shape originally. And I thought maybe also doing the same up here as well. So the bedroom would also be that same shape so yeah kind of have that the walls kind of fit in there so then that room is yeah that same silo shape so yeah i think that looks pretty good with the room there and then the bed can go in there it's like an, it's a kind of a goofy looking room but there's um a kid's room in there with the double with the the bunk beds and then there's another smaller room on this side with a single bed so there's actually four bedrooms, one for the kids, one for someone like a single person, and then two with double beds. And then Basil downstairs with a double bed. I started deleting the lights and just having these lights here. I like the idea of it being really gloomy and like dark, which also means gloomy, <laughs> but like just like not super bright, really creaky. I don't know if that's a term. Just kind of creaky and dark and gloomy atmosphere. You know, if anyone moves a single muscle in this house, the whole house can hear you moving, you know? So that's kind of the vibe I was going for. Just dark and gloomy and creaky. And those lights are cool, but they don't give up a lot of light. So you have to be a bunch of them. But I, I liked it. I liked the way it looked. So then there's another bedroom on this side. And then in front of that bedroom is kind of like a wreck area. But this is the, the, the other big bed, the other big bedroom. It's just so big. I don't know what to do with the space. Put a mirror there, put a wardrobe there, I guess. These rooms are huge. There's a desk with a computer. That's a computer. It's supposed to be like a typewriter. Some paintings on the wall there. And then this was the rec room. This is the rec area where the guests can kind of hang out and do whatever's. Oh, I'll put a chess table outside because I thought that'd be nice. Some more windows on the side because there was no windows on that side of the house. So I figured I'd put those in. But yeah, this is a space up there where you can kind of like, you know, read a book, paint, hang out, do whatever's. Do some more paintings around the house, some more lighting, like de deleting the big lights up top and just kind of relying on some of the lamps. It was a little too dark, so I did put some of these lamps in. They're still not super bright, but again, I want to keep it very like gloomy. So this is the kids room here. It's very small, but it holds two kids. 
And then there's a little place where kids can play with the dollhouse. It's kind of weird. Really oh, I had to color this wall here. It was the roof. The problem is I was coloring the roof. So that whole area had to be an accent wall. I just kind of made it like a brick accent wall. That, it's just kind of a goofy area between those because you just see the roof the whole time. Now it's going through and doing the lighting, deleting all the top lights, just having some basic lighting so it all feels very, very <laughs> gloomy. <laughs> I want to go back and put like cracks on the wall and kind of make the wallpaper look ripped, you know, and just kind of make it seem more run down. It, it, is, it doesn't look great, but I wanted to make it look worse. So that's the idea. I will go back and do that when the pack is released and I have access to other packs available, you know? It definitely does look gloomy. But it needs more to be more run down. Some more lamps around the place. That's Basil's room. The kitchen is just too big. I don't know. I don't have to do that space. The kitchen is just too big. I raised it the platform there a little bit because it kind of dropped down once you uh, came out of the kitchen. So the kitchen has a little bit of a platform there. And then just did some more coloring around. Some extra just like knickknacks and boxes and decorations. I think this build turned out pretty good. I, I, I am happy with it. I definitely want to spend more time on it later. But uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I really love the way it looks on the outside. Well, there you go. What do you think of my bed and breakfast cottage? Is it good enough for Basil and the guests? Should we make an LP out of it? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.